Brothers, please welcome Jeff Stafford. And today what I wanted to be able to do in a really short time is kind of recap some of the things that were learned today, as well as put you off back on your own campuses, back in your own life, with a challenge, a call, a so what. And who would I be? And what would I have learned if for the next 18 minutes I stood behind this podium and led? Have I not paid attention to anything that's been going on? Have I not learned that what we need now is a different kind of leadership? Have I not learned what is asked of us today is asking us to engage and to lead differently than we have behind podiums, at tops of organizations, at the head of a board table? Have we not learned anything? And so in the next 17 minutes, notice how the time is just ticking. In the next 17 minutes, what I want to be able to share with you a little bit is what's needed now. Because what's gotten us here isn't going to get us out into the future. How many of you remember this? That desired future, the vision that we hold for ourselves and for others. The thing that I need to make sure that you understand, I have shown up here in doing four different sessions with some very core fundamental beliefs. One of which I really want to share because I think it really hits home. The one belief that I need to make sure you understand is leadership is not about position. It's about character. <clears throat> Do you remember way back at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, talking about model the way? In the session that I led, we talked about emotional intelligence. We talked about how you show up matters. I may have even sprinkled a little research around mood contagion. Raise your hand if you know what mood contagion is. A few of you. Raise your hand if you have heard the phrase, one bad apple spoils the bunch. Yeah, that's the research behind mood contagion. Here, the idea behind modeling the way is something, it's not just having leaders who dictate and command. It's about leaders who ask questions, who invite dissent. It's about leaders who stand for something that they truly believe. It's like putting your stake in the ground and claiming something important to you. If you were in some of my sessions, I passed out maybe a little exclamation button. You know, people might just think I'm totally caffeinated because I drink a lot of iced coffee from Starbucks. This is true. And there's a belief that I have around putting exclamation points at the end of my actions, at the beginnings of my days, to lead in that such a way that allows others to follow us. Modeling the way isn't about me just telling you what to do. Isn't about me sitting at the top of my organization and assigning you orders or duties. So here's the invitation, because you all decided to take the invitation and move. I totally appreciate that. The invitation I have to everyone is please stand up. Go ahead, please stand up. You're not going to have to move anywhere. Don't worry. There's no more moving. No more moving. Don't worry. Again, if you were in a session with me, you had to split the room, you had to argue your beliefs, you had to go talk to people. I'm just asking you to stand. To stand and make an okay sign with me. Are you okay? Make it okay. Wiggle your fingers. Put your hand on your chin. Look at your tables where the creative chins line up. This is model the way. Go ahead and grab a seat. Right? How many of you, how many of you, your chin is way up here? It ain't there. This is not your chin, this is your cheek. Model the way invites us to not just talk the talk, but we actually have to model the way. And we have to walk the walk. We have to implement, we have to do 
We have to demonstrate. Oftentimes we find ourselves in positions where our leaders are telling us certain things. But it doesn't matter because that's not what their actions say. And then, when you went to the next session and we learned about inspire a shared vision, do this with me. Put your left hand up. <laughs> Go like that. No, you don't have to do that. <laughs> no, put it up. Put it up. Here's what happens. Anytime I talk about vision, I have this reaction like Pavlov. My arm goes up. And I loved it throughout the course of the day. Some of you were in my choir in the later sessions, and you talked about vision, and your arm went up. Wow, I love when that happened. Because when I think about vision, I think about something out here into the future that's unknown. It's this possibility piece. It's also like a magnet that's pulling us forth or setting our direction. Here's another quiz where I need your help. I need you to really quickly Point north. Go. Point north. <laughs> Point north. Do it. Oh my god. Look at where we are going. Stop. If we... Put your hands down. You're freaking me out. If we needed to go on an expedition, we would be lost. This is what happens when we don't have a shared vision. Your efforts, your energies, your resources are 